working with SQLite databases in Python. Introduction. Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be diving into how to work with SQLite databases in Python. SQLite is a lightweight and widely used database engine that you can easily integrate into your Python applications. We'll walk through a practical example using Python code to connect to a SQLite database and retrieve some data. Our AI Digit Fox network instructor will then break down the Python code step by step. For this video demonstration, we are going to use the SQL client software application and database administration tool called dBeaver. Let's get started. Quick introduction to dBeaver. dBeaver is a SQL client software application and a database administration tool. For relational databases, it uses the JDBC application programming interface API to interact with databases via a J DBC driver. For other databases, no SQL, it uses proprietary database drivers. It provides a plugin architecture based on the Eclipse plugins architecture that allows users to modify much of the application's behavior to provide database specific functionality or features that are database independent. This is a desktop application written in Java and based on Eclipse platform. The Community Edition CE of dBeaver is a free and open source software that is distributed under the Apache license. A closed source Enterprise Edition of dBeaver is distributed under a commercial license. written in Java. Operating system, cross-platform, platform Java, available in multilingual, type, SQL database administration tool, license, Apache license, website, dbeaver.io. Python with SQLite 3. SQLite 3 comes integrated in Python. To use it on Visual Studio Code, we must first import the library called Import SQLite 3. Import SQLite 3. Create the database or connect if it exists. Con equals SQLite free dot connect example dot db. The example dot db in our case will be the path where the test database is directed to on our computer. It is accessed by right clicking on the database in dbeaver, clicking on edit connection and copying where it says path. But we are going to demonstrate it anyway here on this video. So stay tuned. The connector element, usually con, is the connection to the database we want to use. We will not see it in this video. But if we were to connect to a real database with credentials, we must pass the credentials to this element when establishing the connection. The connector is like a cable that connects Python to our database, but does not allow us to interact with it. For that, we use the cursor. Create a cursor. C equal con dot cursor parenthesis. The cursor is the element with which we interact with the database. 
With the cursor, we can execute code in SQL as if we were in a script inside a database. With the cursor, we can also bring all the information of the database to work in Python, although it is not recommended. Note, the finally command ensures that con.close parenthesis is executed anyway. It is important to always close a database connection when you have finished using it for several reasons. Let's see three important reasons. Resource management. Database connections use system resources such as memory and file descriptors. If you do not close the connection, these resources will remain in use, which can lead to resource exhaustion, which can lead to resource exhaustion and decreased performance over time. Data integrity reason. Closing the connection ensures that any pending transactions are committed or rolled back, which helps maintain data integrity in the database. Cybersecurity reasons. Keeping a connection open longer than necessary can increase the risk of unauthorized access to the database. Hey awesome viewers, welcome back to Digit Fox Network. Before we delve into deciphering the Python code, let's take a quick dip into the world of SQL client software with the powerful database administration tool called dBeaver. On the left side, you'll find the dBeaver sample database, SQLite, which serves as our testing and exercise ground. Below, you can explore various tables like album, artist, customer, and more. On the right side, we have the ability to fetch data using SQL queries. In today's Python code demonstration, we'll be querying the customer table using SQL. But here's the beauty of it, we can first test our SQL code right here in dBeaver. This pre-flight check allows us to verify that our SQL query returns the exact data we need before we unleash Python on it using Visual Studio Code. Ensuring accuracy and fine-tuning our queries for optimal results. Here's the Python code we'll be explaining today. Let's break it down step by step. 1. Importing the SQLite library. We begin by importing the SQLite 3 library, which provides us with the necessary tools to work with SQLite databases. 2. Establishing a database connection. Inside a try block, we create a database connection using SQLite3.connect. Replace path underscore to underscore db.db with the actual path to your SQLite database file. On this video you can see on the dBeaver images how and where to get the path. On dBeaver click with the right mouse bottom on dBeaver sample database, SQLite. Then select edit connection. A second window will pop up where the connection can be configured. In there, under the tab general, you can see the path where the dBeaver application is installed on your computer. 3. Creating a cursor. A cursor acts as a pointer to the database. We create a cursor object with con.cursor to execute SQL queries. 4. Executing a SQL query, we define an SQL query, select from customer limit 16, which selects all rows from a table named customer but limits the result to 16 rows. The query is executed using cursor.execute, SQL underscore query. 5. Fetching and printing data, we loop through the result set using a for loop with cursor. Inside the loop, we print each line, which represents a row from the customer table. 6. Error handling, we have an accept block to handle exceptions. If there's a problem with the connection or the query, print bad connection. 7. Closing the database connection. In the finally block, we ensure that the database connection is closed using con.close. Beware, this step is very important to release resources and maintain data integrity.
And there you have it. We've explored a Python script for working with SQLite databases. You can use this as a starting point for more complex database operations in your projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe for more Python programming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I am your Digit Fox Network virtual instructor, happy to serve you.